so much. They really do. We come now to our gamekeepers. The gamekeepers competition, many of you may not know, but Crufts originally started because of Gundogs. And today, very much Gundogs Day. We're delighted to welcome our judge for the uh, gamekeepers competition. He's a man from County Durham who has been involved in working dogs, working gun dogs for 55 years. He's worked English Springer Spaniels, Brittany Spaniels, flat coated retrievers, shows pointers. He's won 70 open stakes, has made up 10 field trial champions, and won the pointer and setter stakes on two occasions. Escorted by Tom Mather, yes. the chairman of the Cross Committee. Please put your hands together for our judge for the gamekeepers competition, Colin Organ. The first of the six that have made it through here tonight. Put your hands together. And here we are, our judge for the gamekeepers classes class this evening, Colin Organ, famous for his pointers and setters, a, a gun dog trainer, and also a judge of show classes too. So he's a real dual purpose man. And here are our class winners. The first one coming from the pointer and setter and hunt point retrieves, the Hungarian Vizsla. And then here is the winner, our black and white English Springer Spaniel, who topped the English Springer class today. And here, the retriever, uh, the flat-coated retriever. There's a special class for Labradors alone, but uh, here's the other variety of retriever, the flat coat winning that section. And here's the Any Variety Sporting Spaniel, and this is a very smart Welsh Springer coming in. All of these will have been working on gamekeepers' estates for the season. And here, the class for dogs owned by retired gamekeepers, this very nice golden retriever. And, of course, the most popular in the field trials and working trials, the Labrador. And here's the winner of the Labrador class, this black Labrador. So here we are. Six fit-for-function working gun dogs. They've had to work the season on estates picking up. All will have been judged against their breed standards, but also the judge looking for dogs which are fit-for-function. Uh, just checking the moving pattern. I think the judge, Colin Organ, is going to look at them again. He'll be going over them. He's looking for their anatomy. They have to be fit for function, so you want good anatomy, good rib cage, good legs and feet. Very important to have good feet for working gun dogs. They have to they live on them. They say in horse world, no foot, no horse. It's the same in the dogs. You need strong feet for working dogs. Now, this one is Vislania Ziena, owned by Mr. and Mrs. Hardcastle and Miss Bradley, and handled here by Mr. Hardcastle. She's had three seasons working and winning the Gamekeeper's Welfare Trust Trophy. She's worked on grouse moors and on pheasant shoots, but she's very much at home here in the show arena. She's bred in a, a, a dual-purpose kennel. Now it is, she's such a favourite to the big rig. Here Judge, they're going over the English and Springer Spaniel. English Springer Spaniel, Tiger Rock, Tiger Rock Ocelatus. Now, season, owned by Dylan and Gwyneth Marsh. Thomas, and here Dylan is handling the dog in the show ring. And Dylan's been showing in these classes very, at Crufts for the past 30 years. So, Thomas, long Shane service Cross as a gamekeeper. And this also comes from a dual-purpose kennel. They've been successful in the show ring as well. Usually, this spring spaniel is seen more regularly as a uh, liver and white. This one, a black and white. Any variety, other variety of the retriever. It is Helen Fox. Now, the Megan Fox, any variety Megan. retriever apart from the Labradors. And this is a very handsome flat-coated retriever, satin bays cracksman for black toff. And owned by Helen Fox and handled by their daughter Megan. He's known as Rouge at home. And he's just completed his first full season picking up on the weekly Grange estate. They say he's very happy. Well, all flat coats are very happy, it's part of their nature. 
and he's uh, striding out the judge looking at soundness of movement for the uh, any variety of sporting spaniel efficient movement that helps them to be athletic and cover the ground well she's a welsh springer spaniel now from the any variety sporting spaniel class and winning the game keeps feeds trophy today is this very nice bodonia moon river she is known as uh, at at home as river and she's owned by Perry Birchmore, and she's handled by Perry in the showing tonight. They've been picking up on the Church Farm shoot and on the Elton Estate. Uh -huh. They tell me that she loves a fuss being made of her. Well, they well, all the do, don't they? Spaniel. But I have to say, this is a marvellous temperament. It's really striding out well. That's, uh, Rose joins us now. And uh, that soft expression of uh, the Golden Retriever. And oh, they're such a wonderful breed. My family owns one, and she rules the roosters home. She's such a character. Here, this very, very nice golden retriever here. Per Barn, a breeze down river. Lovely name for a gun dog. Six years old. She's owned by Mr. Mace and Mrs. Franklin Mace, and handled here by Richard. Known as Breeze at Home. And 13th generation. She goes on beats ah, and like picking up at Powys Castle, and this is this the fifth Richard's season for working for her. At Crafts, Richard Mace and Breeze is 13th generation of their breeding. That's a great record to have bred the breed 13 generations. And again, Please. they have had show champions in the show ring as well and full champions. So, and then she wants to join the obedience oh. by the look at her. She wants to. Well, that makes sense. The Southern Golden Retriever display team, Some obviously, but trotting out well there. The last four days. But what a marvellous temperament. They're a wonderful well, breed. So, last Great one family one companions. It is the it is now, the from the Labrador Retriever class and winning right the Malmesbury Trophy today is this bitch, Purdy Prosecco. No. Six no. years no. old, Prosecco. handled by no. Darren no. Dedicote, no. who owns, uh, owns her as the, well. Uh, just She's just completed her fourth season, fourth season picking, picking in on the, the hope, picking up on the Oak Hill shoot. Just loves picking up during the wood pigeon season. Now the Maybe working fearless. Labrador we see here is rather so lighter than the, 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 sh the show the specimens. They have a bit Down more substance in the show ring, but of course in the field they want this speed. They have the greater speed coming from lighter bone, so not so heavy in the rib. But what this dog does have is a very good coat. Waterproof there. double coat and a Who's wagging tail. Now, who is Colin Organ going to choose here for the North Esk Memorial Trophy as best in the gamekeepers' classes at Crufts 2022? Looking at the HPR, the Hunt Point Retrieve, the dog who's an all rounder, can do all of the tasks in the field. Sent the game, flush them out, retrieve the game. They're real all-rounders. But who's it going to be? Is the flat coat, the flat coat retriever many, many has won. That's marvellous from the any other retriever Rita class. That is Satin Bay's cracksman for Black Toft, Rita. and that's a marvellous win. Place, Wonderful Salah temperament. Rita. The Labrador oh, goes into Rita. second place. And for third, that, oh, the that, it, it won the hearts of the audience, didn't it, with her display and her happiness. The lovely Purban Golden the Retriever. Purban, a breeze down the river. And look at the temperament of all of those. Here they are in a rather strange environment, the show ring. That's very the typical of, of the gun dog breeds. And so the North Esk Memorial Trophy there. Look at that wagging tail of a flat coat. And here, the, 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 oh, the very prestigious trophy presented by William Delamore from Skinner's Pet Foods. All of these classes are managed and run by the British Association for Shooting and Conservation. Play a big part in our conserving of wildlife and the countryside. A very happy Megan Fox, the handler there.
Congratulations to the Labrador. And the, and the wonderful uh, golden retriever.